what's going on guys it's six foot and this video was the install for the sr series zero gravity windscreen for the 2009 cbr 600 double r all you're gonna need is the new windscreen an allen key for the mirrors and something to remove the screws from the windscreen the tool size i'm not too sure but it's the plus size screw so you can even grab like a screwdriver or a butter knife or whatever the hell you want these are the screws you're gonna need to unscrew that's one two three and then on the other side it's gonna be the same thing one two and then the third one at the top now all you have to do is remove the six screws be careful unscrewing them because some of them might have washers under the screw in between the screw and the fairing and once you unscrew the six you don't have to worry about the windscreen falling out because it's still locked in place you'll have to wiggle it out so don't worry about that Now if you pay attention here, you can see a washer under the screw. I unscrew it and then the washer kind of comes out with it. So be careful and don't lose those. Now the next step here is to unscrew both of the mirrors which are attached to two bolts each. All you need is the Allen key that came with the bike. If you don't have one with the bike, find one laying around. I'm sorry, I don't know the size, but it's pretty easy to figure out. On the second bolt when you're unscrewing, make sure you hold onto the mirror because the mirror will fall off. And now all you do is go to the next mirror, do the same exact thing. Be careful again, don't drop the mirror. Here's how the bike looks with everything removed. The six screws from the windshield and the two mirrors with the two bolts each. Once it's all unscrewed, all you have to do is wiggle it out, pop it out, and then of course you can go ahead and remove the windscreen. I'm not too sure what to call these, but when you remove the windscreen, some of them stick in. These are like little rubber bracket things where the screw actually screws in. So make sure you take those off because you're going to have to put those on the new windscreen. Don't forget about those. Those are very important. You can see there, I still have two left right here. Now you may need a key or something to wedge in there just to pop them out because it does get a little bit hard to take out. That's what she said. Now what I did here to put them into my new windscreen, I took my key and I just shoved it right in there. I wedged in the plastic so it kind of popped into place. It's not that hard. Just take your time and make sure you don't mess with the plastic too much so it doesn't break or rip. And now just pop the windscreen in and place it into spot. Here's another angle of me just trying to pop the windscreen in. You can hear the popping sound. You'll know when it's in because it'll be nice and secure. There you go. And right about now we can start screwing in the little screws in each hole. That is what she said. And as you can tell, I'm doing it right now. Now don't forget the washers that you tuck out. Now once you install the windscreen, all six screws are in nice and tight, you can go ahead and install the mirrors. Now here you can see me just finishing up with the two mirrors, I'm finishing up with the second and this is the final look of the SR series for the Honda 2009 600RR. I was about to choose the double bubble. But I kind of like the look more of the SR series, so I went ahead with that one. And I am not disappointed. I like the look. It's a great look. 